It's a dangerous galaxy. Freighter captains are a dime a dozen. When the Republic needs someone who can get the job done, they always call me. I've got the connections, the talent, and the best starship there is. Back as well as play Star Wars The Old Republic Smuggler Playthrough Chapter 1 The Fatal Fortune. I mean, it was fast, so let's get started. Alright, so last episode we finally arrived on Terrace, and apparently we were already welcomed by the uh, security. <laughs> uh, I'm not smuggling things off, I actually am delivering things. Uh, so, yeah. Alright, and we were doing uh, some side quests. Yeah. Now, one of the side quests is down here. Oh, nope, actually, that's our main quest. Alright. Real easy. Just need to find a way. There we go. Again, these. This droid, this droid and this chest actually I'm bringing on my own. I'm not smuggling them off the planet, so please, guys, don't come after me. Doctor? Dear Adeli, I regret that your husband was killed yesterday by rat ghouls. Please accept my condolences. Dr. Soylan was an excellent scientist. I've never composed a death notice before. How did that sound? You might try softening the blow a little. Really? A daily always impressed me as something of a stoic. Then again, she is a widow now. Hmm. Ah, I recognize the symbols on that container. My bio alarms have finally arrived. Good, good. If only this had arrived in time to save my associates. Not your fault, certainly. We knew the risk of studying Rakul's. What do you think you're going to learn about these things? My colleagues and I were studying the Rakul's behavior, hoping to find a means of containing them. We can't afford to let the Rakul's impede our progress. The Republic's rebuilding efforts on Terrace are paramount to future prosperity. You're pretty fearless, for a scientist. Fear obstructs understanding. Besides, my prospects for survival have just improved. I've isolated an identifying element in the Rakul's physiology, making it possible to detect and track their movements. The bio-alarms you brought will reveal how the creatures hunt. However, installing them will be a challenge with all my assistants dead. Consider them installed, Doc. How hard can it be? Indeed. All that's required are quick feet, basic technical know-how, and raw nerve. Things I see you possess in abundance. Place a bio-alarm at each survey station we've established, and I'll see you're amply rewarded. Amply rewarded is my middle name. Your parents must have been fascinating people. Come back when you're done, and we'll celebrate your success. Normally, I'd ask for your next of kin's hollow frequency, but I'd rather maintain some optimism. Good luck. <laughs> really? <laughs> really just... <laughs> Oh my god. Oh my god. Uh. Well, normally I actually was debating uh, for a fee or against... Um, yeah, the one I actually picked. Uh, oh my god. God, Corso, what the hell? The fuck, come we actually got all these guys on us. I mean, I I don't believe I aggro actually aggroed all of these guys. Did I? 
maybe I did. Yikes, then. All right. Hold. We have no more with which to defend ourselves. You have left us helpless before the Rakuls and everything that haunts this planet. My people are refugees, survivors of the battle on Coruscant. Would you turn us out of yet another home? The owners have been waiting for centuries to return here. So many men are here to reclaim this planet who know nothing of its past. Ancient Taurus was a blight on the Republic. The black mark on its reputation for freedom. As far as I know, it was some Outer Rim nothing until the Empire blew it up. Humans on Taurus did as they do on all planets. They seized the surface, claimed Taurus's wealth, and forced every other species underground. Every meter of land owned by a human was probably seized from another species, just as this was seized from my ancestors. I have their documents. So old they were kept in printed form. Read them yourself if you doubt me. Well, if this place is valuable, you won't find any shortage of folks willing to steal and kill for it. Credits bear no children. Lives matter, not money. If you have any sympathy for our cause, perhaps there is something you can do? We are alone, and at the Republic's mercy. I wouldn't want to see you turned away from your home. I thank you for softening your heart to my story. I will tell my people to begin repairs on our droids. Yeah, now... Uh, if you actually played Knights of the Old Republic, you actually know why I actually did big uh, to side with them. Mainly, yeah, Terrace wasn't exactly the greatest planet for alien, uh, non-humans, actually. Alright. Oh, a little bit too close, but fine. Pop you. Better? And take you down. Alright, here we are. One down. So that's exact actually why I side with the um, non-humans. Plus, we actually want to be free, so why the hell shouldn't other people actually also be free? Alright, two down, two to go. Pop you. Blast all these bolts down. The AOE. Yeah, actually, I'm happy I actually placed the uh, sweeping gun fire because I don't believe we can actually, yeah, can only be used from cover, so we can't use that out of cover. Oh, watch go this. I'm going to do sweep them. Get out of my face. All right. Let's actually just get past these. Now that quest phase area we actually ran into with the last uh, survey station. Was actually is actually quest phase for the Jedi Counselor, if I remember right, or was the Trooper, if I remember right. If I actually can get a sneak peek inside, I can actually tell you guys. 
Ah, no nope, trooper. Or is it? Yeah, trooper. Right. Yeah, I know the Jedi uh, Council has a quest phase area down here too somewhere. Um, it actually almost looks exactly the same. Uh, except for... There's a giant hole at the center of it. Where a few... Um, yeah, I'm not, actually, actually, I'm not going to say that because uh, I may perhaps play uh, Consular and um, the Inquisitor after this one. And the Knight, because uh, at a certain point I will actually have to play uh, with it as, a, as a Jedi Knight. Splendid work! I'm already receiving data transmissions from the bio alarms. You've done the Republic's rebuilding effort a tremendous favor. Those raccoons are no trouble at all. Thanks to you, the Republic's reclamation teams will soon be saying the same thing. What you've done most definitely calls for generous compensation. Good show. Seems dangerous to stay out here all alone. I'm 100% safer now with the biolarms in place. I'll be fine. Accept these credits with my extreme gratitude. I'll begin collating my data. Thank you again for everything. Alright, now who the fuck's calling me? Hey, Captain. How are things out there? That crazy Republic scientist got his gear. Glad to hear it. That's one down, one to go. I finally located the other supplies you need to deliver. They were lost when Tyrodal got killed by the Ratkuls. A Republic patrol found the supplies with Tyrodal's remains, dropped everything off at an outpost near the lake. I guess the Rackles didn't leave much of him behind. Just bloody clothes. The Rackles turned Tyrodal into one of them. Ugh, try not to think about it. All you have to do is swing by the outpost, grab the supplies, and take them to an engineer named Ovold. Ovold will give you some planetary core samples to bring back to me. Got it? What do you need with planetary core samples? I have to transport them to Coruscant as part of my contract. It's a science thing. Grab the supplies from the outpost, get them to Ovald, and return to me with his core samples. Good luck. Alright. But first, we need to actually go back. And yeah, I need to actually pop up another XP boost. And where the hell is it? Wait, really? I only actually. Oh, here we go. I only have one left? God damn it. Excellent job. We could smell the smoking metal corpses from here. I told him that's not really possible. So, who are the crooks who set themselves up on our property? Did you drive them off? Your ancestors stole this land. I have the real deed right here. The alien resettlement was a valid executive order approved by the Republic. This is our land! There are alien survivors who kept their claim? I'd have thought they would never come back here. I... I studied the history. It, it wasn't right. It was justified! You can't make us leave because of that! It'll take more than two people to turn this place civilized. I agree, Relis. This isn't our ancestors' estate. This is a frontier. We'll need to grow food, sew clothes, defend ourselves. Wouldn't it be better to ally with these aliens? Sew clothes? Hmm. Maybe we should just hear them out. See what they're looking for. We won't turn them away. I know what it's like to want a home. Hey, good job. Both on the droids and getting to the bottom of that mess. Terrorist politics. Huh. Who cares about this dump anyway? Brass called me when you left. Wanted to see if your work's as good as your rep. No time to chat. I'm on my way to bigger and better. Must be nice, getting to just pick up and go like that. Anyway, if you get a yen to serve the Republic again, look for Captain Childress. He's usually at HQ, other side of the base. Well, if it's on my way, I may speak to him. 
but only if it's on my way. So yeah. Mom, pop that in there. And time to go and speak with the last one. Urana kill. Alright, here we are. Laisha, Vetus, everybody, he's back. Is everything okay? What did the scavengers take? Okay, calm down, people. Let's deal with the possessions first so those who want you can leave. Hopefully this will help you start over. We can only hope. Now, what do we have? This is fabulous. Not a page lost. Yeah, I can't wait to turn this on. I have to show these to my mother. She's been so worried. I'll be right back. I think what she meant to say was thank you, but she's a little giddy. Don't worry. None of us will forget your generosity. The material things themselves aren't that important, but it's like you gave us back more than that. So wait, I don't get paid? Come on. Ugh, fine. Well, at least I got that relic. I'll teach you what I know. For the right that price. Feature. Don't be a stranger. Alright, let's pop that bad boy down here. Alright. Now what do we get? Level 24. A really long way off. Doc, how's Jessup? He okay? Your friend suffered from Reminder. Mechanized travel is for official business only. Be safe out there. Yeah, you guys can actually uh, read that. Yeah, once you actually get bitten by one of these raggles, you actually get the ra raggle plague. Um, I'm not exactly all that happy that it didn't actually include that little uh, thing inside to actually face a raggle, but uh, I can actually understand that. They could have at least made it something like a debuff where we actually uh, start losing health slowly. Like maybe one tick at a time. Alright. Well, here I am. Let's speak. Hey there. Captain Childress. I want to thank you for taking the time to see me. You did nice work on that land claim mess. Like we flew this many troops to the armpit of the galaxy so some kids could play Pioneer. It'll take way more than it's worth to make this planet livable. Only thing interesting about Terrace is that it's the worst failure the Republic's ever had. I don't know much about Terrace's history. Way back when, the Sith were searching for a Jedi here. When they couldn't find her, they tried destroying the entire planet. The Jedi escaped, but millions of people died an ugly flame of death. The Empire tried the same thing on Coruscant in the last war. 300 years after Terrace, we still don't know squat about how to defend against a bombardment once ships are in low orbit. Makes you feel like the Empire could squash you like a bug. Most people don't realize how vulnerable we are. And if my mission here succeeds, they'll never have to. I sent commandos to defend a research team at the crash site of the Endar Spire, the last Republic warship shot down over this planet. If we're lucky, that ship recorded the whole bombardment. But my team's lost contact, which means there are desk jockeys in the wild with the most valuable data on Terrace. What's this ship? Why is it so valuable? There were Jedi aboard back in the day. Now, we hope it's got data on the attackers. The crash site's a ways out, fast as you can make it. I don't know if we've got survivors. Research team's your number two priority. Data's the most important thing. Take anything the Endar Spire recorded to Commander Viki at the outpost. Alright. So yeah, for all you guys who actually watched my actually watch my uh, Giant Civil War playthrough, you all ex actually know who actually piloted the Endar Spire. As you can see by the data, there is no disease in known space that propagates as quickly as the Teresian Rakul Plague. Even one individual Rakul can start a pandemic, as we have observed in 81 colonies to date. 
Until a vaccine can be widely distributed, it is highly doubtful that any civilian colonization effort will yield lasting results. Thank you. You lecture like an authority. Should I know your name? Dr. Iana Sell. But no one gets famous doing Teresian Rakul work. The last breakthrough was three centuries ago. Holonet archives say a Dr. Forn developed a Rakul serum vaccine just hours before the bombardment. I've been trying to acquire this serum, but short of putting a blaster to someone's head, that's not going to happen. If there's a cure out there, you'd be saving millions. Don't tempt me. There's a pirate camp not far from here. I heard they went after the ruins of Sepinek Memorial Hospital. Sepinek was well preserved. If there's Rakul serum to be found, it'd be there. I asked Commander Viki to step in, but since it wasn't a Republic hospital, the pirates have legal salvage rights. Why are you bugging me with this? Wait. If I go see the pirates, they're gonna see scared human girl with money. You, on the other hand, what would you think about getting some samples out of them? You got it. Thanks. To have a working vaccine, no price is too high. All right. She just actually came up and offered money to start with, then I wouldn't exactly have minded. All right. So it's behind this area, down here where we actually died. Oh, nope. Naya Nugan, a genim Naya, lak umnan mege. Nule lak apa jam kamgram, amka nem nang nemua inuk. I sincerely have absolutely no idea what you're talking about. Honest. Nakag agib, kik benabab. Nea agam berakaki. Bomo gala apayan. Nilama imi amka anga. Kala jiwa nimok. E bemgam nyama naya aigam. Explain to me how that would be useful. Beraka karam kara. E ninyamok ora mag yang megik. Nibaka klamka. A gakyam. Glak nimu amya galak. Naya na rankam. Kala ama mani mami. Libic Bach. I'm a little rushed right now. Maybe later? Manub Maraka Naja. Kinamabam. Yak Manala. Memgam Gamgi. Nina Gegwan. Am Nerna Hanak. Kamperem Ganyam Baji Yang. Manikikum Bukam. Ah, oh, great. So now I actually need to uh, go and destroy some scavenger weapon cases. Great. <laughs> uh, life can never be easy, can it? Alright, so I think it's we're going first to this area. Yeah, oh, alright, so that's basically my quest uh, mission, alright? Then go down there and then go to the Inner Spire as the last highlight. So, yeah, alright. I think we can at least go and finish off Illusions in the next seven minutes. Infected pirates, great. Huh. Well, actually, if you actually play as the Empire, uh, once you actually get to Terrace, you actually have a quest to do that uh, little uh, serum. Uh, actually, yeah, infect the uh, people in there. Now, actually, I'm finding it really funny that they actually did include the. Uh, 
mission uh, with the um, uh, with the uh, serum uh, pirate medicine actually Ragul serum uh, that's actually a quest in Night of the Old Republic I believe it's actually the one you can actually pick up really fast um, that's one of the first quests you actually can pick up on um, Terrace as, as um, Revan. So yeah. Now it's also fun that they actually did include the last Bell of the Ender Spire and all that stuff. So it's actually real nice that they actually did include some stuff from uh, Kotor. That's uh, characters like Bastila Shang's actually in the game. Well, part of it. You actually have uh, polos of um, Kar, Tonasi, um, Mission, Zolbar, and every other uh, character of uh, Knights of the Old Republic as a companion. I believe those are on. Um, Oh, uh, Corellia, if I remember right, it's actually one of the side quests on Corellia. Better? So, yeah. I believe it's one of the side quests to actually boost morale and all that stuff. Down. Just get you out of there. Now we have two cases and just two more to go. One's down here. Can I get that last one? Let's see how hard it can be. Right, guys? Let's check that out. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Easy. As hell. Now I may actually do some heroics off camera. Again, same with uh, I'm planning to do with Dill Kirk. Um, so yeah. But I don't exactly think it's really all that necessary with my uh, smuggler. Really, you assholes can never leave us alone, can you? At least give me the loot. Now, last few days, actually, I'm playing some Lord of the Rings online. Um, I actually um, have to get used to back uh, clicking on my loot because normally, uh, well, in that game, you actually, whenever you actually get loot, you actually get it in a little boxy box down there, and you can actually loot that stuff um, for an hour. It remains in that little box. So, yeah. Better. Which is, I believe, actually really great and all. But it also actually makes you really lazy. Let me get you in the nuts. There we go. Every time I actually see that, <laughs> my brain goes immediately. Oh, we actually have a uh, stage one. So, yeah, I don't believe we actually are able to get inside uh, in this episode. What the hell, man? Stay down there. Let me just take a nice little aim. Headshot. Killed you in style. You right. got a minute, Captain. I've got something on my mind. Yeah, short sure, course, slow. Uh, when we actually finish off dealing. Oh, that's inside. All right. So I hope you guys will all actually enjoy this episode. I know, I know. It. We still have like a minute and ten seconds left, but. Yeah, I'm going to end the episode off right here. I hope you guys will enjoy it, and I'll see you all next time. Bye, guys.